about eight years ago when we were living up in the Peace River area of Alberta, we decided to get into honeybees. We uh, got about seven to five hives and with the help of the Hutterite colony up there, we got going in the honeybee business. Both my husband and I work, Bill works full time, I work part time. So a lot of our time is spent in the evenings and on weekends with the bees. My husband has always taken courses at the university in regards to entomology. And uh, when we were up there, it's a big honey producing area. So we thought, well, this is a way to make a little extra money. Then we moved down here to the Vegreville area and I wasn't working at the time. So we said, well, let's just expand this business a little bit. So we started out with about 300 hives and we've got the capacity to run closer to 1,200 but just had problems getting bees in this year, so we're running about 600. Production should be about 125 pounds per hive. This year with running about 600 hives, that will give you a revenue of about $150,000. This is our extracting plant, and when the honey comes in from the field, it goes into our hot room. Then we bring it over here, put it onto our hive elevator, which lifts the boxes up, comes over to our deboxer, goes on to the uncapping line, it'll go down, go into the extractor. That extractor is like a big centrifuge. It spins it around, spins the honey out. Then the honey goes through a pump, is pumped overhead and comes it down into the bulk tanks. There's heat applied to these bulk tanks and uh, it'll cause all of the debris to rise to the top. Then we can just pour off the pure honey into barrels and ship it to market. I guess one of the only hazards in this bee industry is that you do get stung. When you're in the honey house working with extracting, you probably get stung at least once a day. You know, it depends. When you're pulling honey, you're taking away all of their honey, so they're very angry. So you might get 20, 30, 40 stings a day. Most of it is through a bee suit, so it's not like a full force of the bee sting. It's just a little, little zip, but you get used to the stings just like anything else. Here we've got a queen. When the honey flow starts in July, there should be about 60,000 bees to each hive. This will give you enough bees to make you a sizable crop. The major cost for us right now is the cost of the bees every spring. Every year we lose about anywhere from 15 to 25 percent of our bees in the overwintering process. So we have to get in bees from Australia and to get the queens in from Hawaii. Now their bees are going into the winter over there, so they're selling off their excess bees to us. They come over in two to three pound packages and we either shake that whole thing into one hive or we split it up and shake some into each hive. The queen starts laying eggs, usually as soon as she's put into the hive. Three weeks later, the first batch of bees are being born. We have about 100 barrels of honey again this year. The beauty of this business is that we don't really have to market or advertise our honey. We just phone up our packers, see what they're offering, and decide whether we want to ship it at that price or not. The honey prices are set according to what the world market will bear. We've seen an increase in price in the last two years because China has not been allowed to ship honey into the United States. We've gotten as low as 85 cents per pound. Last year, the prices went up to 210. This year, we're hoping to get $2 up to maybe 210 again. Okay. To get into beekeeping, you need to have your hive. This will cost you approximately $160. Then you have to have your bees. They can range from 75 to 130 dollars for a two-pound package of bees. Then on top of that, you need your extracting equipment. That can run you anywhere from $15,000 to $75,000. But even with all these costs involved in beekeeping in the last two years, because of the high price of honey, we've been able to see margins of about 40%. I think the, some of the rewards with this business is uh, the fact that it gives you an extra income, as well as you're helping to pollinate the crops around in the area. Over the past few years, there's getting to be less and less wild bees due to the mites and uh, diseases that are hitting the bees. So uh, when you've got some bees around the area, it all helps with the uh, life cycle of the plants, is to be pollinated and to... Oof, I caught a bee sting. <laughs>
what I always find amazing about honey bees is that it takes a bee the equivalent of flying around the world once to collect one teaspoon of honey. So when you're pouring it off into a barrel, you're thinking, boy, that's a lot of bees.